Welcome everyone. Hi, I'm Travis and welcome to the Hard Round. Um, today is 2B Tuesday, as you can see, and we'll be reviewing a 2022 release movie called Terror Train, which is a 2B original. Now, if some of y'all don't know who what 2B is, you have to take a look. It's a free app um, and it has some of the worst movies you ever see. Bad movie nights, great for bad movie nights. I've been a 2B fan since 2020. So, um, Terror Train. So, Terror Train um, takes place on one night when it starts off on one night where um, it's a fraternity and they are having an initiation and um, it goes wrong with um, one of the candidates. Um, the, the hazing goes too far and leads this candidate to, to have a nervous breakdown and be institutionalized. Now, um, I've been to college. I'm a Duke Blue Devil. I've never been a fraternity or anything, but I'm like, whoa, there's no way in hell that this is something that fraternities are doing as a hazing process. So it's to the extreme. Um, but fast forward three years later, this same group of uh, uh, fraternity members who are, by the way, all the biggest douchebags. I mean, whoa. Um, so they they're decided to have a Halloween party on a train. And this is a big, giant train, by the way, that only has two employees, which is... I don't know how that's possible. I mean, you know, so it, um, one of the employees is a young lady. She, um, it's her first night, and the second one is a older one. She is um, an older lady. She is, um, I think, like the manager or something. But like two employees for all the people on trains. Okay. Um, so let's go to the positives real quick. Um, the production value for this movie, and, and considering it's a Tubi movie, it's pretty, you can tell there's some, it's pretty high. I mean, it looks, it's not anything, you know, um, major release, but it's definitely for a Tubi movie, you can, there's, there's definitely some production value. Um, and the second thing is the, the actual killer in the movie. Um, so the killer goes through and he kills his victims. And like I said, it's Halloween, so each, um, individual is wearing a costume and once he kills his victim he takes on their costume he starts off like with a clown and I think this was a Godzilla and goes so forth um, but with this movie you know it was would have been easy for the low hanging fruit to the obvious killer would have been the guy but um, like throughout the movie you think oh my goodness i think i know who it is i know it is but you don't it's it's once you get to that last 15 minutes and they kind of reveal the killer is it's like wow i didn't see that one coming that was interesting and that makes sense you know so i did like that those are the two things i definitely like about this movie the negatives okay let me list the ways all right um the first thing is the acting the acting is absolutely horrible which it comes with a B movie and a two B movie, but I mean it's just on another world level. Um, um how can I say this? Um, so I did an IMB uh, check on some of the actors and actresses in the movie, and most of them this is their first role, or they are in that realm of two B B movies. So that's what you're. Um, if you are looking for great actors, actually stay off of acting so far to stay off of to be period but this movie is definitely wouldn't be for you um the second thing is the characters also are extremely annoying um i it's the you know the pretty much stock characters for a b horror movie you got you have the slut you have the nerd you have the virgin you have the stoners you know there's like and and they're all pretty annoying there's even like a magician on there that's that's like the sex symbol or, or something and, and like it's like huh, like it's a guy also who carries around a sex doll. Like, it's weird. Um, it's a weird group of characters. Annoying. I think I haven't been this annoyed with characters in a horror movie where I was like, boy, I can't wait for them all to die. Since I think Texas Chainsaw on Netflix, Texas Chainsaw on Netflix, I couldn't stand any of those characters. And I was just like, blood face, choppy choppy. You know what I mean? So, um, Everything in this movie, um, this movie did drag. There was like from the from the first and second act, there was you know it was kind of painful to watch. It kind of 
it's kind of picks up in the third and fourth act, but if you, you kind of got to suffer, especially that first act, you got to suffer through that first act. It's that first, it's an hour and a half movie, that first 20, 25 minutes is, I was, I almost didn't finish the movie. I almost was not going to even do this review because that first 25 minutes is tough to sit through. Um, this is definitely not bad, bad or in two level night. It doesn't have that. Like I said, I was going back to the production value. Um, it doesn't have that, but like a lot of TV movies, it looks like someone has their iPhone recording the movie, and they're like, when there's two people talking, it's just like back and forth, and you know, it doesn't have that. But it's it's a it's a movie like there there's no pace, even for a B movie, hard, hard flick. Um, it's just there's a, if, if, if you got to make it fast you got to make it fast past that first 45 minutes it's it's brutal you you would definitely need to zone out um this is not one that i would rewatch i don't even think this is um one that would be good for a bad movie night a drinking night smoking night whatever um this is this one definitely wasn't fun and when i when it comes to my b horror movies and my tubi I don't want them to take themselves too serious. And you can tell that the director is trying and the cast are trying to take themselves too serious. And no, no, no. Overall, if I had to give this a score out of five, I would definitely give this movie a 2.5. Like I said, the, 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 uh, production value and the, um, the guessing on the killer, you know, the, the, the un, this wasn't predictable who the killer was. Those are the, definitely the big bright spots in this movie. Um, there's a there's a part two that got released this year. It's actually on Tubi. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to probably be forced to watch it. Um, that's gonna be a couple months from now. I can't do that back to back. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely uh, review Terror Train Part Two. Um, um, in the near future. Um, but yeah, so yeah, th thank you for coming uh, to Horror Realm to be Tuesday. If you like what you see, hit that like button, come back for more, and hit that hit subscribe button as well. Um, follow us on, if you follow the link down below, you can follow us on Tubi. I'm sorry, not Tubi. Ooh, you can follow us up on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. We, we are tons of content, horror conventions, Comic Cons burger spots everything nerdy i look forward to seeing you thank you again for